Hey guys, Ron here, and uh, welcome to Vector Motion Graphics Studios tutorials. Uh, now, today I'm going to show you how to create the title sequence that you just saw at the beginning of this video. Uh, this is just purely with After Effects and After Effects only, no plugins. And uh, basically, all you need is something green, and then you can get started. So uh, let's just quickly jump into the tutorial now. So let's go. Okay, so we're in After Effects now, and um, what we're going to do is create the title sequence. Um, now, the first thing you're going to do is just create a new comp. Uh, if you're on Mac, just press Command N, and we can get started. Now we're going to call this pencil, pencil intro, or something like that, and make sure it's black. And this time we're going to run. 1920 by 1080. Uh, that's the main widescreen production thing you want to use if you're doing anything videos, just for future references. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first we're gonna get our stuff. So first of all, I've got this hand of me and a pencil sound. So we'll just um import them. Now with the green, I I. You, I do have a green screen, but I wanted to show you how you can improvise. So, as you can see, I have got a green pillow, okay, uh, well, from a green pillow, and um, I've just used that. And uh, you can see, if I pause it, you can see all the lumps and everything on it, and it uh, it still works, to be honest. Um, so it still works with everything. Second of all, I've also got a pencil sound. Um, so what I did with that, I actually just put my microphone next to a piece of paper and just rubbed up and down with a pencil. Yeah, it's as easy as that. So uh, let's just get started. We got them. Now let's rename this hand. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to get the hand. And we're going to go transform, fit to comp. We're going to go into effects and presets and click key light. Uh, I've done key light before. Uh, I think I've done a tutorial about it as well. And we're just going to grab it into that. Now, well, at first at the moment, this will look crap. Especially if you're using um, what I've just used, a pillow. But we'll fix that in a second. Uh, also, if you're using a green screen, uh, it will look better. But we uh, also have done this in uh, in another tutorial. Now, usually I just go view screen map, but n since it's not really that quality important, I'm just going to go down to screen map, bump the clip black up to around yeah 35 ish maybe. Around there, and take the clip white and make it like that, maybe a bit lower. And uh, a little like that. Then with the shrink, screen shrink and grow, shrink it up, uh, maybe, maybe to around, yeah, 0 0.8. And we're going to get to where it starts, and alt start bracket. Okay, now we've got basically this. Now, I actually did it upside down for this. Uh, you can do it upside down, or you can keep it straight. Heck, you can even do it from this way. In this tutorial, I'm going to do it a different way from... The intro, this way I did it top left to right. Now I'm going to do it um, top left to right again, but flipped around. Okay, so um, we've got that. Now basically, you just want to get to your starting position and, uh, so, you know, like where you think it looks good. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now, first, what you're going to do, you're going to create a new solid, and it's going to be green. So, just 
you don't really have to name it and just press OK. Now put this on the bottom. Now it doesn't really matter about this at the moment because it will look a bit uh, funny, but that's okay because we're not actually keeping the green here. It's just for so we know where it is. Now, second of all, we're going to need a new solid, and we'll call this block, and we're going to make it black. And now we're going to put this behind the hand. Now, um, okay, so now we're going to we're going to actually shut those all those layers off and create a new text. Now, um, obviously, you're going to create something different, but I'm going to do it uh, uh, Vector Motion Graphics Studios. <coughs> now, um, I recommend Orange Juice <coughs> as the uh, font. But if you want to create something else, that's okay. Uh, there's a link in, in the description if you want to get orange juice. Um, so there's a link in the, in the description to our website for that. If not, you can just get another drawing font. So you're going to scale this up as well. Oops. Let's make sure that's good. Now just scale it up until it's uh, around the size that you want. Make sure it fits the whole screen. and not too big not too small and that looks good now you can turn all those layers on and you're going to put the vec the words um behind the block and everything okay so now you can delete the green solid and with the block here as you can see it moves right so this is basically what we're, how we're going to use this. Now, if we just shut that layer off, the hand doesn't actually block it. So what we're going to do, we're just going to make the hand move across and uh, make the block follow the hand so it looks like it's drawing. Uh, if you don't really understand, I'll, I'll show you now. So what we're going to do, we're going to line that up with that. And we're going to... Click hand, press P, and then click position, and just basically, you just want to go along and uh, keep doing, just going along. It doesn't really have to be that well, I mean, that great, to be honest, just do whatever. At the moment, mine is kind of curvy, but uh, that's all good, and then just... You just go all the way and now I'm gonna have to fix it up a bit here so let's just fix it up that wasn't there before so let's make a mask around that uh, and with the mask, make it to subtract, and then that's gone. Okay, um, that's good. So now we've basically got the hand movement across the screen. Now we're going to click the block, press P, and add a position. And um, where's the block actually? Oh. So we're going to get the block, and basically put that there. And we're going to go P and we're basically going to just keep the end, edge of that block um, right where the tip of the uh, the pen is. Now uh, you will have a look at it and be like oh wow that's rendered really really badly but um that's only because of the green screen that I used um to be honest it's uh barely a green screen at all but you know it's just improvising how I'm trying to show everyone 
how to improvise as well as I can. Uh, I can't really improvise that well at all. So basically, we've got the what it's going to look like. Now, what we're going to do, uh, I'm trying to find a better image. As you can see, like it's really sharp. Actually, it's pretty good. It's really sharp, and we don't want it as sharp as it as it is now. So we're gonna grab the block layer, and we're gonna press G, and we're literally gonna um, just with our best memory of doing it, outline the this, and then we're gonna go zoom up and press F and feather it out just a tad so you can just still see it and uh, it won't matter too much with the feathering as long as you do it correctly and then it's not as sharp you know now uh, sometimes you might have to like, like there and just scale it up or scale it across and just fiddle around with that a little bit and uh, basically you should have a nice drawing technique there might be a few if uh, bits and bumps that you that will probably occur um, but that's okay so now that we've just get our pencil sound is uh good um it there's a download in the link to get that we just grab it and uh we press command and just drag that along now we'll make this just a bit wider just in case that's the problem because you can see that it's still going so that's pretty good. Now it starts kind of late, so we're gonna to the, to the start, and then we're just gonna go double across. and then it stops, and uh, just shorten that and then that's basically it. It goes for around 10 seconds, uh, maybe a bit shorter and that's basically it. Uh, to render it, if you really want to render it well, just go file, export, add to render queue, um, save it and everything, go uh, quicktime dv ntsc 48khz. Now that's basically the best type of render without uh, your, your audio going to crap basically sometimes it just doesn't mix at all and uh, it's something's majorly wrong with it at the end so um yeah so that's basically how to do it it's rendered now and let's have a look at it okay now to this one now, so as you can see, like, I just pause it, it's, you can see basically all the bumps and stuff that hasn't really worked out, but you can fiddle around, as I said, it, it, it is just a quick tutorial today, and, um, that's just basically showing you how, and, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys, and, um, Check out our website, download a few of the links, and uh, happy visual effects. See you later.